Parade home number seven. This home was built by Christensen Homes. This home is 12,054 square feet, six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, two floors, six car garage, and this home is priced at $5,499,000. That's with the lot. The price without the lot is $4,749,000. That's a ton of square footage. It goes way back. Okay, let's These go check it These lots are huge. This house is going to be mind blowing. By the way, remember how in our Parade of Homes video we talked about not wearing big boots? Guess who are big boots today? Yeah, I'll take it. We'll just we'll trade off. It's Thank got green you. writing on it, so it kind of matches you. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is the grand piano room, huh? Little light fixture. Beautiful. Okay. This house is 12,000 square feet, so. I think she said, yeah, start to the left, I think. Look at the size of this great room. When somebody says a great room, this is what I think of. Yeah. It's a room that's great. Okay, let's, let's follow the directions. I'll follow you. It's like such a stark contrast, black and white. And the ceiling. I love that it opens to the backyard. Yeah. So this is like one of those transitional rooms that could be an indoor outdoor space. This is awesome. Sorry, Hi. That was sweet. This rug. I love it. The rug. Look at that chair. That's awesome. This bed looks larger than a king. It does. Is it because it's white? Or is it because it's larger than a king? I don't know. It's not. It's not larger than a king? It feels wider. It's white, so it just looks looks bigger. But I think we're supposed to go this way. We're we supposed to go back. I don't know. Like this is such a big house. I don't know how you're supposed to get through like the direction. Still in panic. Yeah. Oh, the floors are heated. <laughs> this is the coolest shower ever. This is the coolest shower. It's like a shower booth. Yeah. I love how this home has some really traditional and some really modern touches. Look at the light fixture, that chandelier up above the tub. So cool. It's beautiful. So then here we have the north end of the master dressing. 
Wow. Good luck remembering. Look at these built in. Well, like I'm looking Do the come. bears kind of Wait. mess with you? Hi, yeah. But I'm then like, you I'm... get dressed and they're like, look at all these angles. Well, you're like, which which one holds my pants and my shirt? You remember. <laughs> There's probably a built in steamer behind that. Nope, no, just shoving. Beautiful. By far the nicest cloud that I've seen so far. Yeah, this floor feels so good on my feet. Yeah, this floor is heated. Yeah. Feels amazing. Usually tile floor is a little cold. So. Sauna. Another closet. Mm -hmm. With the laundry. And then an yeah. ensuite exercise room. Yeah. The mirror is making this room look huge. Yeah. This is definitely a great way to use that square footage. Huh? Look at that massive slide. That's so cool. A little jumping deck. And that outdoor theater. A little dog out. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Massive upstairs deck. And then an inside sport court. This. It has a pass through to the kitchen. So you come up. The store is open. You come up, grab a beverage. This entire area opens up. It's beautiful. I want to go take a closer, take a closer look at that dugout. It's incredible to think that a home this size tucks away in this neighborhood, huh? Well, there are a lot of big homes in this neighborhood. Look at that. This dugout just drops in, so you sit kind of below the water. That's awesome. Let's go back inside. So far in this backyard, I would say like 10 out of 10. Well, for sure. This takes us back into the trade room. Yeah, it's super tall ceilings and balconies. I want to see the pantry in this house. So you have these massive slab for the kitchen island, and then you still have your full-on butler pantry back here. Actually, I can't even call it a butler pantry, it's a chef's kitchen. So that's the pass-through. And then this is your full-on chef's kitchen, although there's not a cooktop, so the only cooktop is in the main kitchen. Built-in refrigerators. More built-ins out here. You have a sweet double oven with an eight burner and a massive griddle in the middle. Look at the size of this hood vent. It's kind of wild. Entire dining room looks over the pool and it kind of has that feel of like a massive bay window. Made a full circle around this pantry now. Let's go this way. <clears throat> Explore this wing of the house. 
What did I do with 12,000 square feet? I like, I'm already lost. I don't even know where we're at. This is the server room that controls the entire house. That's quite the setup. It's more back half than an office building. Sweet. Space. So this is like a casita, media room, pool hangout room. Has exterior access to the driveway. This has two bedrooms with an ensuite gym. The other primary bedroom on the other end of the house had a white themed yoga studio. This is more of like a weight room. From right across and an indoor sport court. Wow. This is like a full on half court. Ooh, it's they didn't leave the ball out. Last parade, one of the houses had the ball out. Flooring feels sweet. Love these roll up garage doors. Today, it's about 70 right now. So days like today, you could definitely leave it open. Lead the way. Sarah Tubby. size of this laundry room. The green, I love the green. The matte emerald green. The leather finish <clears throat> tops mm -hmm. with the emerald green. Uh, oh, real green cabinets and kind of a retro looking hardware. You notice that? The what? The retro looking hardware, know, these knobs are old. kind of old school looking. Look at the little... And they latch, huh? Cool. That's so cool. Oh, they're all up here too. This home has a lot of like really modern and some retro touches so I think look awesome. So we go upstairs? Sure. That baby. There's levels to us. One's coming down that way. So let's okay. see if there's another set. Duty! Little sitting room. Or freezer. So I think there's another staircase right here towards the front of the house. Look at these views. Wow. Best views in the house. These are the cutest. Yeah, now that I mentioned the hardware. But just like the brushed gold color. This is a happening place. It's pretty hard to park outside even. Yes. We have to go on a little hike to get here. Oh, another laundry room. Of course. This is number two or number three? We saw one. Three. One was in the master bedroom. It's the upper level laundry room. <laughs> Beautiful cabinets in gray up here. Gray countertops. Look at this view. Having that green field is super red. Well, it's super green, actually. Storage area. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, they all have en suite walk in closets and bathrooms, of course. Yeah, pool views from here.
bedrooms total is this house? Six bedrooms, nine bathrooms. Wow. So you have another sitting area upstairs, Those dining are area. Those are beautiful. It's perfectly with the flooring. It just yeah, all... it looks great. More suite upstairs. I absolutely love these light fixtures. It's a little bit of a vault on that side of the house and it's and closed just perfectly. So I love how they did these cabinets. There's so much detail literally everywhere in this home. Got your central bath. says party deck. <laughs> this face just keeps going forever, huh? Yeah. I love the darker ceiling in this room. Yeah. This upstairs, it kind of wraps around and spans the entire house, huh? It's another full bath. Check out this movie room. You've got four TVs. Four TVs forming one massive screen. I don't even know how many inches it is. They each look like they're probably at least an 85. Oh, a uh, proper music room. That sounds incredible. Look at this setup. Tube amp with some really high-end Macintosh speakers. Was finished with acoustic panels, so the sound is in here is through the recording studio. It has a has a fully soundproof door, so when you shut that door, the sound just stays in there. This is a cool, like a cool music room, sound room. Wow. This is incredible. I love all the, the color combination of this house inside and out. Like if you look at some of the exterior finishes on this side, it's very, very contrasty and modern, yet it feels traditional to a certain degree. Folks, we're curious to know, what do you think about this massive house? What would you do with 12,000 square feet? Would you use this space the same way? If you're thinking about relocating to Southern Utah or even remotely considering it, maybe just started researching, please reach out to us. No matter the price range, whether you're shopping 
at the very bottom of the market, or maybe you're looking to build a $12 million home. We have the resources up high and down low, and we're happy to help you regardless of the price range that you're after. Just take the first step, give us a call, shoot us a text. We would love to get rolling with you, but enough about that. Let's get back to the tour of this home. Really fancy looking uh, ping pong table. I love that that matches the house too. Me too. It's got nice colors. Usually these things don't look super appealing. Where have we not yet gone? Hi. <laughs> have we gone? We've gone that way, right? Oh, that's did the we stairs. The we came up. Upstairs? We did the entire upstairs. We can go down those stairs. Okay. Is that gone? Just to put things in perspective during the parade of homes, a typical home will see like over 40,000 people walk through it. And if you have a home this big, you can have parties with 40,000 people. That's the, the courtroom. So we haven't gone yep. that way. So we've gone to this laundry room before. I think yeah. it's laundry Yeah, I think room. we actually did all of it. Yeah, I think that's the entire house. Yeah, this is laundry room number three, the downstairs yeah. laundry room. Oh, is there more garage out there? There's a massive motor court, but I don't know if the rest of it is open. Two, two car garages, so four car garage plus RV. Yeah, it's a six, yeah, six car. And then you have, of course, additional parking over on this side, a super massive lot. So far, I would say overall, like if you had to rate me, had to ask me to rate the parade, and we haven't seen a ton of houses, but I would say this is definitely, and this developer always produces absolutely mind-blowing homes. Um, for the parade, so I would say for me, it's in the number one spot contender so far. What do you think, Michonne? Definitely. Friends? Like, I'm still wondering if we saw it all. I, like, totally got lost in that house. <laughs> it's a massive house. I think we need to revisit it. I feel like homes like this uh, definitely deserve a second trip. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let us know what you would like to change about it. You know, go ahead and smash the thumbs down, but give us a comment below and let us know what we could do differently in order to earn your like. How do you guys feel about this home? I thought it was absolutely mind-blowing. Like, I'm still questioning if we even saw all of it. It was over 12,000 square feet. But this builder is absolutely amazing, and the details and the finishes are absolutely beautiful in this home. Let us know in the comments what you think. And of course, if you guys are looking to shop in the area, please give us a call. We would absolutely love to help you. Any price range you're looking in, give us a call and we'd love to be of service to you.